Welcome to the Microfocus Identity and Access Management video series. I'm Kent Purdy, Product Marketing Manager for Access Management. I'm Kevin Pryor, I'm an Access Solutions Sales Engineer. So thanks for coming, Kevin, appreciate it. From what I understand, you're ready to show us tap and go authentication. Yes, so uh, basically what we have set up here is our kiosk mode. So as you see here from my desktop, the logged in user is actually kiosk and basically what it's doing right now is it is awaiting a user to come up and tap their card and authenticate. So, so what's, a, what's a typical, when you say kiosk, what's the typical use case for a kiosk environment? Well, typical use case is basically when the machine is first powered on, it'll automatically log in as a generic user and be able to get into the desktop. So this is for, in, in the business world, this is for people coming to a certain device. I don't know what kind of people are these going to be, the clinicians, or someone's coming to a certain device and they need access to a set of applications. Correct. So what they're going to do is they're going to identify themselves with their card to access those applications. Okay. Right. Let's see that. So in that case here, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll take the first user's card, Sue. We'll go ahead and we'll tap that. And you'll notice at this point here, the user is actually being authenticated in. We're still there as the kiosk user. However, this user, we've single sign on them into the current application that was already open. All right, so oftentimes what we hear, especially in healthcare, is they've got certain applications that take a long time to start up. So they don't want to have users logging in and logging out of them all the time. They don't want to close it because it takes so long. Right. So in this case here, what we're showing is that how we can actually have an application that's up and going in the background. And when the user logs in, we detect that and we automatically sign them into the application. Okay, so let's say uh, the clinicians, he's used that application and he's, he needs to leave. Mm -hmm. And he's at, a, he's at a workstation, right? He's at the clinician station for the hallway. Um, and so he's gonna have to tap to get out to mm -hmm. secure that station. Correct, so there's, there's a few options that we can do, right? So, you know, the first is basically that user will go ahead and take their card and automatically be logged out of the application as well as the, uh, the machine itself, the kiosk, if you will, right? The other option is I'll go ahead and I'll log back in as that user. And once this user is logged in here, if I were to walk away and another person needed to use this, first I want to point out in the lower right corner, Sue's name is actually there identified, so we know that Sue is logged into the SSO. Right. All right. So now Sue has walked away, Tom comes up and Tom says, oh, well, Sue's logged in. Should I be Tom? So you go ahead and be Tom. All right. So what you'll notice here is that when you do that, Tom is now logging Sue out of her application all right, and bringing him back into the kiosk desktop. The other option is, is that when you were to go ahead and tap that card, it would not only log her out of the applications, but we wouldn't see this screen. It can automatically log them right back in. So if you tap that card again, we'd actually get you into this point here where now we see Tom is logged into the application. We also see that Tom is logged into SSO. However, again, we're still just a generic kiosk user. And we can also show that by clicking here on the start menu and you'll notice here that we're logged right. in as the it kiosk, kiosk. user. So what about, so that's really cool. I like that. Um, what about situations where multiple people are using a machine, but they want their full desktop mm -hmm. brought in? How does that work? Sure, so if we switch over to our other machine, and now we're back. So now here from another desktop, what we can do is again, why don't you go ahead and take Tom's card. Okay, so Tom's gonna log in. All right, when you tap that, at this point here now, Tom is actually logging into the desktop itself, so it's actually loading the profile right. for that user and bringing up their desktops. They're logged into this workstation, all right? So that's the main difference between a shared workstation and an actual dedicated desktop. You'll also notice that when we've gone through and we've tapped the cards, we haven't been prompted for a password. The reason for that is that we've already logged in one time using that password. So we support the ability to where you can set X amount of time for the user to uh, either put in a PIN or an LDAP password or something of that nature. But again, the main piece here is that people want it for flexibility to be able to move right. from machine to machine and quickly get in and out of applications and desktops. Thanks, Kevin, for showing us Tap and Go. I really like it because it's so easy for users to get in and out of their environment. Mm -hmm. And thanks for watching this video. If you have time, please check out our other identity and access management videos.